Well, there is a sense of relief in Roanoke tonight. Until this morning, the last credible sighting of Michael Brown happened in the Star City. That was back on November 14th when police got a report that Brown had tapped on the window of his grandmother's home on Tillett Road. And nearby, they discovered Brown's RV. And that led to schools and businesses being shut down and neighbors told to shelter in place. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons has been in the area all day. And Taj, we understand that both Brown's mother and grandmother were at the house today. That's right, John. Before John, uh, before Brown's mother and grandmother went to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, they were at this home that you just described on Tillett Road in the Grandin Court neighborhood. Early this morning, I approached them both and asked them if they had anything to say about Brown's arrest, and both of them refused to comment. This is the same house that the FBI intensively searched two weeks ago. 10 News was the only crew here as the FBI, U.S. Marshals, and a SWAT team searched the home late that evening on November 14th. Earlier that day, Roanoke put the Roanoke, uh, excuse me, Roanoke police put the neighborhood on lockdown and Roanoke City Schools canceled class. I talked to neighbors up and down till it wrote today, but only one of them would go on camera. She tells me the neighborhood changed after that search. Before people, you would see, I don't know, somebody like constantly people out walking their dogs, doing things in the evening, and then after that happened, I'm sometimes the only person out in the evening walking if I walk. There's nobody out, not even the men, nobody. That neighbor tells me she is relieved Brown's in custody and even more relieved that it happened in Franklin County. She says she's had conversations with other neighbors since that search and says she believes about half of them still had fears that Michael Brown was still lurking in this neighborhood. For now, reporting live in Roanoke, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.